Hi, I'm Kelsey Murdoch and welcome to the SUTV News Break for Monday, November 16th, 2009. Today on the webcast, SU students combine in the ultimate dance concert, Power 90 Run receives state recognition and a look at what happened or didn't happen in SUU sports over the weekend. This and more straight ahead. It was literally a world of dance Friday and Saturday night in the Heritage Center Theater. As groups from SUU and the community gathered to perform a mix of dances from around the world, the World of Dance featured performances from SU Theater and Dance Department, Ballroom Dance Company, Polynesian Club, Hip Hop Club, Joaquinians, Percussion Ensemble, Cedar Junior Ballet, and Cedar High School, Moe Tawa, Drill Team. The night included dances from over 20 different countries, allowing audiences to experience a diverse set of costumes, dance moves, and music. The SU football team played their final home game of the season Saturday. Unfortunately for fans who braved the cold and light snow, the Eastern Washington Eagles dominated the game, outscoring the T-Birds 41-28. The first half of the game wasn't pretty for the SU, not making its first, first down of the game until the second quarter. While the team came out stronger in the second half, it didn't get them far enough. The football team's last game of the regular season will take place in San Diego on November 21st. Other SU teams didn't do much better over the weekend. The volleyball team won one of their two games. The men's basketball team lost both weekend games in Hawaii and the women's lost to UNLV in their season opener on Friday. SU's radio station Power 91 took home 11 awards in the 24th annual Utah Broadcasters Association Awards at the beginning of this month. Radio students were recognized for a number of achievements, including Best Personality, Best Feature, and Work with Commercial Spots, Promotional Messages, and Public Service Announcements. One of the comments that our alumnus, Sean Denovan, overheard was, why do we keep on losing to this college radio station? Or I can't believe we keep on losing to this college radio station. The fact that we are competitive with a commercial radio station, I think, speaks well. For the latest headlines seven days a week, make sure to visit suunews.com. We'll be back tomorrow with another news break. For SUTV News, I'm Kelsey Murdoch.